Well, welcome to ICOM UK. We're delighted to have a sample of the IC7610. Uh, this is a, a rig which is causing a huge amount of excitement amongst the amateur radio community. We've got this sample for just a couple of days. So what we thought we'd do for our YouTube visitors is to do a basic overview of this new radio. And I'm helped by my friends Bob and Chris. Uh, and we're going to go over some of the, the basic um, features, some of the features it's inherited from the 7300s and some of the things that are going to make it such a great radio for a HF user. So what's causing all the excitement? Well this is a fully featured contest grade version if you like of a 7300. It's got two receivers, it's got Digicel, it's got twin waterfalls. And for contesters? Yeah, we've got pre-recorded messages and that kind of thing, and you can gang the two receivers together. They track so that you can have two receivers on the same frequency for diversity reception and separate antennas, that kind of thing. So, Bob, um, this is an SDR radio. Yes. Can you explain to me a, a bit more about this technology? Yeah, well, uh, instead of a super -act design, where there's mixes and IF stages, what they do is they take the RF straight into... A, an A to D converter and then once it's digital everything's processed in digital form. So Chris this has got um, a really good menu. It is, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the, um, the menu as it stands. Um, a lot of the functions are very similar to the 7300 which I think most uh, users would be familiar with. It's like scope, audio, voice, meter, memory, scan. Um, there's some interesting extras on the 7610 menu, the antenna selection. Um, it's got two aerial sockets which can be programmed to come on, on particular bands. Also you've got the option of a, a separate RX antenna which can be uh, set up. Another new feature is the Digicel. Um, Often a problem with um, SDR radios is because they um, digitise a large chunk of the spectrum uh, you can get um, overloading if there's a lot of signals within the, uh, the, 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 t the total pass band of the, uh, the radio uh, and the Digicel acts as um, a bit like the old fashioned pre-selector where you tune to the actual signal you're listening to uh, and it will reject signals outside the um, the passband. Um, notch and monitor very similar to 7300. Uh, another new button is tracking. Um, because you've got two independent receivers uh, you can track the two receivers together um, and use it for diversity reception. Okay um, First off, you've got two aerial sockets that, um, as I mentioned before, can be programmed uh, to come in on particular bands. Um, below that, you've got the conventional phono sockets for ALC input and uh, send line for switching the linear. And below that, you've got two speaker sockets, uh, one for the main channel and one for the, uh, the sub-band. Um, along here, the pretty standard accessory socket, 7-pin and 8-pin DIN, uh, which have been used on ICOM radios for many years, so it makes it compatible with uh, any other equipment, ICOM equipment you might have. Uh, key jack, uh, external keypad, uh, meter, which gives a, an analog output for driving a, uh, an external uh, S meter, and the standard CIV uh, socket. Um, two USB sockets for um, interfacing with a PC, um, a DVI-D external video socket and a LAN socket. Um, the unit can be used uh, with the ICOM BA1 software uh, and it's got a built-in server so uh, it can be used with, uh, with the software for remote operation without the need for uh, having a computer running alongside it. Uh, a large cooling fan. Um, on here you've got uh, BNC sockets uh, for uh, RX antenna in and out. Um, you've got the transverter output and uh, an external 
10 megahertz um, reference uh, standard power socket and the four pin standard icon uh, socket for uh, an AH3 um, long wire tuner and it's got an SD card reader facility it has that's, that's, that's on the front panel yeah so um, what type of users would this radio appeal to Bob well <clears throat> for a start contest is and it's got uh, pre-programmed contest memories and things like that the, the, the performance of the receiver would lend itself to that and um, it's got to have the, the the usual icon transmit audio quality and adjustments of, of, of that it, it's absolutely super for, for contesting but also lots of people are suffering like I say interference nowadays and this has got the tools to combat that kind of problem um, this model uh, will be available later in the year uh, please stay tuned to our website and our social media feeds for news about its release.